rejected some of the decisions by INEC to disqualify some candidates uh, to run for the Bayasa Kogi, especially Kogi, this time looking at the age uh, issue of age. Uh, we had that with the Social Democratic Party deputy governorship candidate, and that issue is still on. And joining us on this uh, interview segment, we have Right Honorable Emeka Tuma. Uh, he is the National Organizing Secretary of the SDP. And also joining us is Austin Otene, who is a member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in Kogi State. Welcome to our studios. Mm. Thank, Aust you thank you Austin, thank you're you welcome. Thank you. Now, candidates have been disqualified, um, you know, SDP candidates, because the, for instance, uh, I think that would be the SDP candidate, uh, governorship candidate Natasha Akpoti, whose deputy um, did not reach the age requirement. Uh, how would you react to the disqualification of candidates for the governorship election in Bielsa and Kogi states? Well, thank you very much for having me um, here today. Honestly, when we talk about disqualification, I'd like to draw attention to a misconception here. You see, INEC will say one thing today, they will say another tomorrow. I watched uh, one, uh, somebody yesterday, and he said, we have not disqualified Natasha Apoti. And then from the other side, we're hearing about disqualification. But the major question here is, does this INEC have the powers to disqualify any political candidate for an election? The answer is certainly no. You see, but the concern that we have as a party, I am of the PDP. So one will be asking, what's my business with uh, an SDP candidate? The problem is democracy. Our democracy is under serious threat with this development. And we are not seeing it. We are seeing the sentiment because we play too much politics with everything. I, let, me, let me give scenarios. For Please instance, you see, the Kogi, Kogi has always been a burning on the, on the front burner, or in the front burner, rather, when it comes to elections and democracy. I'll take you back to Abu Karaudu of Blessed Memory and um, Governor Ayabelo. Now, you today, INEC is saying we are disqualifying a candidate because of the deputy. Mm -hmm. And they are, they, are, they are placing it on age barrier. But as the, this same INEC mm -hmm. came out openly to say, for XYZ election that happened in 2019, we allowed uh, even a lesser age to go through. You will see that, is this, for me, I asked, is this actually conspiracy? Or is this a flagrant abuse of the constitution and the law? Because if INEC have said, we did this, and they have accepted it before the international community, because once you go on live, you are, the world is watching you. So what exactly is your position now that INEC did wrong by INEC, disqualifying? I am not going to say INEC did wrong. INEC okay. accepted that they did wrong. And if you ask me, in a society where there, is, there are processes, rules, laws, ordinarily, accepting and admitting that fact means a total resignation from office, starting from the INEC chairman himself. But it's unfortunate in Nigeria these things don't happen. And this is where I tell you that we have a serious problem with our democratic, democratic system. We are in a big problem. Now, as I was telling you about uh, Abubakar Karaudu and mm -hmm. uh, Yaya Bello, mm -hmm. when Abubakar Karaudu died, INEC, what for whatever reasons, like I said, they keep playing politics with everything, not minding what is happening at the grassroots. They said that the, uh, Yaya Bello went into that election without a deputy. But today you are disqualifying a candidate because you think that the deputy is underage. So where that do we place this? You see, this is a major concern. So you see, I make, it is, for me, it's a clear case of double standard. Today you say this, tomorrow you say that. You apply it to whoever you want to apply it to. So this is conspiracy. And democracy, democracy is under serious threat. That but is my let's, concern. Let's have your thought on 